What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? It's your boy Ty Man back with another bank. Alright, so today, I mean it's kinda like I think it's like one or two o'clock in the morning. But fuck it. Um just got finished streaming a few hours ago. But we just had to write down some of the ideas I was gonna do for this video and uh knock it out. So this one's gonna be called Habits of a Winning Trader versus Habits of a Losing Trader. Alright, habits of a winning trader versus habits of a losing trader so we're gonna get into habits of a losing trader first all right so i would say the number one habit of a losing trader is risk like risking too much all right so a lot of people come in the game really just trying to you know risk a lot early early on you know and um just risking a lot early on is just gonna come with blown accounts that's just a part of the game you feel me so it's it's as soon as you can get past that part of just oh man i want to get rich tomorrow then i mean you'll be on your path to become a successful for an exchange trader but look you really have to get past that risk part i mean think about it like you hear this saying in the industry all the time oh you should only risk two to three percent of your account yes that's true you should look at your trading account like if you are trading a hedge fund at all times so you're not gonna over leverage that thing you're not gonna you're not gonna do all the crazy witness or recklessness to that account because if you're looking at it at like a hedge fund, man, you can scale that thing up something serious, you know what I'm saying, in the next, um, I mean, think about it in years, you know? So me, my approach to the trading game is more so, I really think just like the banks, you know what I'm saying? Just move like the banks, move like the sharks, and move like the whales. And uh, how the whales eat is I trade breakouts, I trade my strategy, I trade my plan, and I stick to my plan, and that's my plan, okay? So... Um, never risk more than two to three percent of your account on any trade at one time. All right. Some people, you guys, bend that rule. You do whatever you want to do. I'm just saying, the way of, you know, getting to the top, is just sticking to your plan. You know, taking your money every single day, and just compounding that thing, and that's how you'll be able to move forward. So another habit of a losing trader is chasing trades. All right now. This one, this one, a lot of people, you're going to be like, yo, Ty, look, man, chasing trades. So let's say you're in a losing trade. All right. It's dropping, it's dropping, it's dropping, or it's going up. The market's going up, it's going up, it's going up, it's going up. And you're inside of this trade and you're just like, fuck, like, dang, is it going to come back? You're looking at it like, dang, it's going to come back. So then you just kind of hold it. You still hold it. you like, dang, it's going to come back. So now you're in this like wishing stage. you like, I wish it to come back. You know what I'm saying? I wish it to come back. You know, I hope it'll come back and that thing's just going to get up out of there and be gone. Or it could be, you know, drop and do the same thing. But the thing is, like, you got to learn just when to, you know, let that trade just, you know, do what it does. So another habit of a losing trader is chasing trades. So a lot of people have this problem. Um, like, let's say you see a trade that's already, that you've already missed or something. You try to chase it and then hurry up and get in and then you mess your account up because you're just like, you either got in too early or you got in too late. You know what I'm saying? Only because you chased it. And how you stop that chase mode is like, I mean, I'll explain that in the habits of the winning uh, traders after this. But look, you got to stop chasing trades. Just be patient, man. Like, trading is simple. And the more simple you can make it, the more money you'll make. Trading is simple. And the more simple you can make it, the more money you can make. All right? So I think like what's really, really cool about the foreign exchange market is it adapts to your style. Everybody can come in with their own style. See, it's like basketball, all right? Like everybody has the way that they shoot the ball. Everybody has a way that they like to shoot the ball. So it's really up to you to come in and develop your own style, develop your own sauce, develop your own filmy dribble, and then you'll be able to do what you gotta do, but see, First, you got to learn the basics, you know what I'm saying? And then even in the basics, it's just, you don't want to chase trades, all right? Chasing trades are, are are bad, man. You chase trades, man, you're going to end up blowing your account. You feel me? You get in a trade or that you chased and it's not going the way that you think. And now you're stuck in this like, oh, man, you know, because you brought other things into that trade. You, 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 were uns you were very unsure. You weren't confident. You know what I'm saying? You should only be taking trades if you really just feel confident. Like, hey, this is what it is. Boom, I place my trade. I'm, I'm off. Place my trade and I'm boom. You feel me? Confident trades. Confident trades. Confident trades. Confident trades. All right? If your trade's not confident, don't take that shit. 
If your trade's not confident, there's no need for you to take it. You're just like, okay, boom, let it go. No need for you to chase it. All right? No need. All right, so the next habit of a losing trader is exiting too early. All right, so, I mean, you can let that trade get fat. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a trade. Like, I showed you guys how it works on the daily. I showed you guys that little strategy, how you can, you know, trade those, um, that support and resistance, and you can trade those little channels and stuff, and how you can really just max your trades out. You know what I'm saying? So, really just, like I said, follow your plan. Find a way to not get out too early and really maximize that potential. Let that trade play out. All right. If you got a, if you have a trade in, if you risk risking a one to four, or one to three, you know, risk three reward ratio, and it's getting to the two and a half, or it's getting to the one, you know what I'm saying? Let your trade play out. Let it play out. Win in profit, try to stop it. Win in profit, try to stop it. Let that play trade out. Play out. There should be no reason you touching a trade once you've executed. That's you already know the maximum risk you can have because usually you're trading with a stop loss. So you already have your maximum risk set. You're in your trading plan. You already have how much you can lose. You already know how much you could potentially lose. So why don't you just let it fully play out so you can get your full gain, get the money that you if you risk if you risk X amount of money, then why don't you go get the money that you risk? You know what I'm saying? You risk. Let's say you risked a thousand to make four grand. Okay, you were about to put up a whole thousand. Like, why don't you go get the whole four grand? I mean, that's what you risked a thousand for. So you're only gonna take two and just flip it. And be like, what the fuck? Like, bro, you risked a thousand to get four. That was your potential. Let that thing play all the way out. Don't be afraid to let your trade play out in the market. Pop that thing in. Place the stop loss. Place your, your take profit. Let it play out. Sometimes it might kiss your, your take profit. That's cool. Win in profit, trailing stop it. All right. Now, I know there's some systems out there that have like the uh, the little trailing stop that follows your price or whatever. However that works. I mean, if you want to create yourself a system or something like that that works for you, you feel me? Then, hey, I say go ahead and do that. For sure, for sure. All right. And one of the last habits of a losing trader that I'm going to talk about is emotion so see your psychology has a lot to do with you, if you're going to win or if you're going to lose and what i mean is like a lot of people let their emotions get into the game because they're attached to their money you're like what do you mean like a lot of people are attached to their money you have a lot of emotion to attach to your money and see money once you break it down to its bare substance it's just like paper and it's just a tool to get what you need and you know get what you want it's just a tool so it's like you can't be attached to the tool it just it's there so you can be able to use it to do what you need so if this is what you want to do trading forex then how you're not attached to the money is hey what you put in is what you put in you can't lose more than what you put in so if you only put in a hundred dollars that's all you could potentially lose is one hundred dollars why are you even attached to that? If you look, you guys are blowing that shit on Jordans and everything else. Like, you're not even thinking twice when you purchase a pair of those. But then you come to the market, you're like, damn, I don't know, bro. Shit, that young hundred dollars right there, man. Man, hey. <laughs> you feel me? So, hey, you gotta lose your emotions out the door. Lose your emotions out the door if you wanna play in the game, if you wanna, wanna be in the game and have that longevity. You know what I'm saying? So it's like two o'clock in the morning right now. That's why, I'm, hey, it is what it is. We grind it, baby. We grind it. You feel me? So now we're going to get into the habits of a winning trader. All right. So a winning trader is going to wait for the trend. All right. You're going to wait for your trade. A winning trader is going to wait for the trade. All right. And what I mean is like, for me, I'm not really in the rush. I would just let it come to me. You know what I'm saying? play more Fortnite, you know what I'm saying? Like you guys watch, be watching me play Fortnite, so play more Fortnite, play more GTA, play more video games, go enjoy more life, and really use this uh, Forex thing as a tool. You know, once you trade your plan and plan your trades, it's, it, it's, you can literally do whatever you wanna do because that's how this works. That's what it's for. Like once you unlock Forex, like come on, this is like the ultimate tool, you feel me? But 
You just have to wait for your trades, you know? Wait for it to come to you. Let it set itself up. Wait for your confirmation. Trade your plan, you know what I'm saying? Wait for your confirmation. Just just wait for it. It, it will come. It will show itself. Be, it's like a surfer, all right? You got some surfers who, you know, shit, they surf how they surf. But then you got those older surfers and you're like, yo, why are you just sitting in the water? And they're like, I'm just waiting for the wave. Feel me? And you're like, what, what do you mean? And they're just like, you know, just chill out. I just, just wait. This, this ain't the one yet. This not the one yet. You're like, bro, this, but this is, he, he's just like, nah, this isn't the one yet. And then when that one comes, he's like, this is the one. Big ass way it comes. <sighs> Feel me? Rise that shit. You're like, yo, how'd you do that? How'd you know? Because bro's been in the water. He's tested that water temperature. He's you know, study the water. So study your water. Study your water. Okay? And what I mean is if you got a pair that you like or a few pairs that you like, study your water. Okay? Until you're like, I got this shit down packed. This is my water. And now you can just sit in your water because you know how your water moves. Feel me? And yeah, the market could be unpredictable at times. But usually, I mean, you'll know when those breakouts or false breakouts happen. False breakout happens. This is how to defeat that. Look, boom, false breakout happens. You should always have in your stop loss. Boom, false breakout. Psh, okay. Now do nothing but wait. See what the market's going to do. All right. Trade your plan. Wait for confirmation. <laughs> if you can still, if it was a false breakout and it's still going to the downside or the upside, wait for confirmation. Wait for you to, yeah, 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 the candlestick to close. Okay. And then boom, hop back in with a stop loss. Bang. You feel me? That's how you do it. That's how you protect your account. You feel me? So easy. Um, run that shit just like that. And that's how, like, if you like, if a surfer was in the ocean, you feel me? How he would just sit there and just be like, "Hey, it's not the one yet." You feel me? Jump too early. All right. So another thing a trader that's super successful does is follows his trading plan. All right. So you know, you have to follow your trading plan. You're probably like, yo, Ty, you feel me? Why are you just making videos, bro? I'm grinding, bro. Like, I've been on the streamer grind, bro. I've been on uh, the regular grind that I'm already on, the trading grind. You feel me? The everything grind. Just grinding. You feel me? But that's just me doing, following my plan. You know what I'm saying? So you need to follow your trading plan. Follow your plan. You feel me? Follow your plan of action. Uh, uh, create a plan and stick to it. That's... I. Sticking to your plan is probably the hardest thing to do in the world. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of people, man, they write a bunch of shit down, and it's just like fluff. You're just writing it down. You're not really doing what you're writing because you're just spending time writing. Spend more time doing than you do writing. Yeah, spend your time researching and things like that, but spend time doing more than writing. So when it comes to Forex, have a plan, okay, and stick to it. But I know it sounds cliche, but it's really the hardest shit ever. I promise you, it's really the hardest shit ever. So you have to create, like, you have to, and that's what I mean by psychology. You have to create mental games to get over the mental blocks to just stick to that plan, to just stick to taking that 100 to 200 a day or 1,000 to 2,000 a day, to just stick to that. You know what I'm saying? It's like, but once you stick to it, that's when you're going to overcome and really be able to get in the game and really just tussle with them boys. You know what I'm saying? But until you get to that point, man, you got to, like, follow your plan. Just follow your plan. Write it, write it on the wall or something. Write it on the paper. Write it on the sticky note. You feel me? Find a way to follow your plan. Put it, put it right on the sticky note and slap it on the mirror in the morning so you already know, hey, this is my rules right here. Usually, when you lose, it's because you didn't follow your plan. It's because you didn't have a stop loss. You didn't have this. You didn't have that. You didn't wait for confirmation. Oh, I traded this because this. Oh, it's a thousand and one reasons, but if you followed that plan, I promise you, you'll be successful. And now, another habit of a successful trader is risk. Now, a successful trader is only risking like two to three percent of his account, his or her account. You're probably asking like, why? Well, you gotta think, because most of them trade like hedge funds, trade like the banks, move like the whales, you know what I'm saying? So they're just compounding this money over time. And I mean, compounding your money over time will literally just take you to the, to the moon. And what I mean is like, Learning the art of compounding is the true skill of investing. Now, a lot of investors are gonna be like, yeah, Ty, that's that shit right there, we agree, we, I, look, learning the art of compounding is like the true skill of investing. 
You know what I'm saying? So it's like, if you want to max out your investing skills, then in a sense, you just have to learn how to be really, really good at compounding. So really get in there and break it down, you know, if you need to, if need be. I'm showing you how to be an expert trader. I'm showing you how to really take your trading game to the next level. So, I mean, you it, like I told you it was mental. It is mental, man. This compounding game is a motherfucker, man. You boom, like just taking that little small two to three percent risk. It adds up over time. It adds up over time because, like, time is money at the end of the day, you know. But it adds up over time. You'll be able to really grow and maximize your account, you know. So, we can get it cracking like that. Where it's two to three percent of your account per trade, all right, per any trade. For me, my rules are: let's say I let's say I lose three times, then I'm out for the day. That just is what it is. I was wrong in the direction for the day. I'm out for the day. I come back tomorrow. You feel me? So, but keeping it at a two per two percent or three percent risk, you know, I'm only I've only let's say I lost three, um, three times. I've only lost six percent of the count. Boom. That's that's nothing. Okay. Boom. Feel me? I make it back the next day. You know, because that was only risking two to three percent. So it's just like you can just come back the next day. Let's say the next day, you know, my gains are, are twice as big. The first day I lose, let's say the next day my gains are twice as big. Then what? Boom. I just maxed out my bread. You know, let's say I was doing uh two percent a two to a two to six leverage. I mean a two to six ratio, a two to eight ratio. Spend two to make eight. You feel me? Let's say I was on that spend two to make eight. And then I make eight. So I just crazily compound in my account so also the habits of a winning trader as well is controlling your emotions so like the surface story i told you you know with knowing when that wave comes or just being able to sit there and wait see that's all a part of controlling your emotions trusting yourself is controlling your emotions trusting yourself is controlling your emotions so the quicker you can trust you is the quicker you can master your emotions because you are your emotions you know what I'm saying? So, but it's crazy because like greed is really the emotion that's gonna really be on the back of your heels. Like, hey, take another trade. <laughs> so it's like you know how like the like the, you know how I got the de the devil and the angel when they put them on both sides. You know what I'm saying? Like that's like the angel is over there. Basically, you got the angel over there. Like, yo, man. It's time to get out the market, G. It, it, hey, you've done what you did for the day. You've made what you made. Come back tomorrow. And then that devil went over there. It's like, hey, bro. Forget what bro is talking about. Man, you are, you know, you on fire today. You might as well just slap him with it. Hey, triple up. Triple up right now. Triple up. Triple up. So, I mean, you listening to both of them like, man, shit, which one should I? Should I wait? And then greed is going to talk to you like, hey, man, fuck wait. <laughs> so the quicker you can control that and uh, the quicker you'll be successful. So those are the habits of a winning trader and the losing trader. Um, I know a lot of people probably resonate with both of those. Let me know if you what problems you guys have been having. If you've been having problems in the comment section, also smash that like button. You feel me? Because you got to run those likes up. YouTube likes when you guys like the videos. Because they're like, oh man, yeah, we like those, like those. And they're like, you know, that's, they're, they're basically telling me to help to make more videos to help you guys. You feel me? Every time you guys smash that like button, they're like, oh man, you guys like it. Okay, cool, boom. Give you more of those. You feel me? So it's your boy Ty, man. It's like, uh, well, my phone, I'm recording with my phone. Because shit, my camera, I was trying to set up like this, like light vicious and shit, but... It was kind of trippy, you feel me? Because I couldn't, I had this little screw in it. I was like, fuck it. I'm going to knock out this video. But yeah, so it was like, um, probably like, I think it was like two, two in the morning, some shit like that. I'm tired as fuck. Still going to be grinding up. You feel me? Still be, uh, shit, what else I got to do? Oh, <laughs> edit this shit. <laughs> you feel me? And then, um, yeah, so it's your boy time, man. And I'm out.